All right, guys, you know, I feel like since it's, uh, wait, wait, what, what happened today? I'm sorry, what? Are you telling me that it's episode five? Well, hot diggity dog, let's go. Hey guys, it's uh, Tony, your host here, and I brought along a couple of guests that you were you might already know. Introduce yourself, guys. Hey, what's up? Alright. And we're here to talk about a nice uh, thinking topic today, you know? Get those mind juices flowing. Uh, today we're going to talk about, in all those movies that you see the robots do everything, a good example would be Wally. Where all the robots do the jobs and humans do nothing. How did humans get paid? You know, like, how did how did they afford anything? What did they right. do? Any thoughts of that? What guys? do they do? I don't know, but maybe that's kind of what we're here to kind of think her out. What do you think, guys? Hmm. Well, what's up? Oh, um, what were you going to say? Because it sounded like you had something going there. So, stage is yours. It's, it sure is, I guess. Uh, but no, <laughs> yeah, I was I was thinking, like, if robots kind of, like, did everything for us, man, we would end up, like, something like <sighs> Wally. Because, I mean, if you look at the movie, you see the scene where, like, where everybody's all fat, right? Right. Because they rely on technology. So... That's where I think it would be heading. If, you know, robots did, like, do everything. <clears throat> Tony did bring up an interesting point. What did the humans do then? Did they get paid for something? Was just currency just obsolete? Like, none of that was actually touched up on movies like that. I mean, you have games such as, um, what was it? Detroit Becoming Human. That kind of was a little more realistic, I think. Um, I don't know if you guys have played that game or not. Uh, no, not me. Yeah, it's kind no. of personally. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, if you like um, games where you basically every decision you make will impact the kind of ending you have, that's essentially what that particular game is. Right. Basically, um, you have these androids, and they do just about everything, and it's a lot of people like them. They're actually pro robot, something like that. But then you have like the other side, which just absolutely hates robots because, hey, they took their jobs and you know, all that ish. Um, and there's just, like different stories you see, like different characters and uh, basically the roles they play in that messed up society. It's it's kind of interesting. Because you have, you know, the slums where you see people that are just poor, can't afford anything, and um, <clears throat> and that's, you know, because of the robots. And then you have people that are actually doing really well. I think it even centers around a billionaire at one point in the game. Mm. So. Interesting. Uh -huh. uh, what are some other great examples other than Wally? -E? There was um, iRobot, technically. Oh gosh! I'm sorry. Like, I have a, a running joke in the family because, like, um, just kind of seeing like where uh, we're at with with robots and animatronics and stuff like that. I swear, if, if any if any androids or robots or anything like that start uh, becoming a reality, I'm gonna start packing because I'm not gonna trust those things for anything. <laughs> just because here's the thing. Right now, a lot of machines mouth. Function. You see it on roller coasters. Gosh, what are some other examples? Mach you know, machinery. Right. Uh, like at factories and stuff like that. Make it these ice machine. Ice cream machine. <laughs> oh. Yeah. yeah. That one too. Can never trust it. Uh -huh. Exactly my point. You can never trust it. So, um, and what's really scary about the court becoming human is the android, they start actually believing that they are human themselves. And I'm just like, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. Oh, uh, Terminator. There we go. Terminator. 
Right. Yeah, exactly. These kind of movies and just having, you no, know, I don't know whether to be creeped out or not. I'm still very much so neutral. Actually, a good this. example I think would support your, uh, would support what you're saying. Uh, mm -hmm. Mega Man actually goes over the span of robots slowly mm -hmm. taking over. But it's, it's really funny because it's not so much as the robots took over forcefully. It's that the wars we fought where robots would live longer than humans. Mm. You, right? Because it's like, all right, robot war. Robots and humans working together versus other robots. Uh, as the war took place, 50% of the robot population decreased. 75% of the human population decreased. It's just, it just slowly worked its way into slowly just, oh, there are no more humans. There's just humanoid robots. Hmm. I guess that'd be interesting to, um, hmm. But then how do the robots take care of themselves? That's also something. They were, they were, so they were technically, I guess they were, they, wait. They were androids, technically. If you want to really get technical about it, they were androids turned into, given, like, human DNA. So they weren't oh, pure human. Oh. They weren't pure so human. So they were well, not pure, I mean, or pure human. Yeah. I mean, if they're androids, then the question still stands. How did they take care of themselves since they don't really last that long? Right. <laughs> Whatever. It's Mega Man. You can't really ask much of that. <clears throat> Yeah, you probably need uh, robots with Apple products rather oh, than yeah. Android. <laughs> oh, there he goes, flexing. <laughs> but um, I don't know if this relates to it, but, I mean, what do you think about, like, the futuristic of, like, the upcoming game uh, Cyberpunk 2077? Wouldn't what? that kind of relate to, like, uh, you know, robots and humans? You know, in the future, right? I'm pretty sure you heard about it, right? Yeah. Can you repeat it again? It was kind of glitchy. Glitchy. Oh my bad. Um, Cyberpunk 2077. Oh, Cyberpunk. That new game. Yeah, that one. Out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I get you. I get you. I get you. Yeah. Yeah. So like, it's like a futuristic world, and then like, like most people, like everybody's like, like usually like has something like electronic like embedded in them. Right. So most people like, are cyborgs at this point in time. Yeah, cybernetic. Yeah, and then like half human, which is kind of insane. Which is maybe that could be a possibility. Didn't they make a? Didn't they make that a? Uh, what was it? Was I think it was in Call of Duty, where cyber they were doing. I think it was Black Ops, where they were doing the cybernetic thing. You can kind of see it in most movies today. As like in uh, the Black Ops, where the next step of human innovation is robotics, and they they had a couple like the first robot uh, cybernetic ma um, man playing basketball and stuff like that. Uh, I think the recent it's recent air quotes uh, Hobbs and Shaw <laughs> movie was a good example because the oh. main the main guy uh -huh. uh, was using cybernetics too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and then he, yeah. I don't want to spoil it, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Um, but man, that'll be that'll be kind of creepy. Creepy, yeah. Because then, wouldn't it? That would be kind of like an interesting, interesting like uh, show or something, because you have a person defending humanity using cybernetics. You don't know. Uh -huh. Who has what cybernetic? So you can have a person with like a cybernetic eye, a cybernetic uh -huh. spine, a cybernetic leg. Right. Anything could be possible because it could be used to the point of like enhancing to a surprise and other stuff. Right. Hmm. WandaVision. Yes. <laughs> yes. Exactly. You gotta android living with a human yeah mm. Mm. dragon ball z is but, i mean that's common. perfect all oh, right android 18 
<laughs> which is technically a cyborg. Yeah. It just sounded yeah, but better. She, but she's kind of had kids. Well, see, the thing about it is you're an android <laughs> when you... um. When you a robot built to look like a human, and you're a cyborg, when you were human first and then giving cybernetics, as proven oh, so by she's a cyborg. Yes, <laughs> as proven by oh. cyborg from DC. That's why his name um, is Cyborg. Okay, but he doesn't. I mean, he's mostly like you know. Yeah. Cyborg. He ain't all that human anymore. Right. But I'm just saying, like, you can't technically call her an android because she's technically a cyborg she has cybernetics okay right. so she has basically all the things to you know make yeah. a baby mm-hmm. right yep whereas cyborg from teen times you know he has like you <clears throat> nothing nothing <laughs> except the right side of his face except how does he like he eats but yeah like he has uh-huh. a couple of organs still in there somewhere so the yeah so the weird thing is okay okay so stick with me i'm all right does does he shit (laughs) he has to because he eats so he has to weigh somehow right i mean right right but that means he pees if he doesn't have huh he pees as well then Mm. or maybe he has something that like kind of like like he could taste the food, but like down there, it's like it just disintegrates it. I, I guess. Right. But he still has mm-hmm. a human brain, which requires those nutrients. So it's kind of like he does need the nutrients from the food to go to that human part of his brain. Right. Right. Okay. So he he can't just disintegrate it it has to break it down somehow oh Oh. (laughs) jeez oh (laughs) great on the tangent of how does cyborg work so we can succeed him as a society right although (coughs) can we at that point because now I'm just thinking of freaking Genos Genos well yeah Genos actually he had the torso, and he had the brain. He just had all these <laughs> technology parts and limbs. Yeah. We hmm. know he gone to the bathroom at one point, and he takes a bath. Like... True. Oh my True. god! <laughs> I'm having a bath. Are, are they water resistant? Yeah, as proven when he Could went in the rain, found? broken, and all that jazz. Hmm. Everything about him is but water could, resistant. Could they adapt that easily? Which one? Cyborgs or androids? Or just robots in general? Yeah, robots in general. Well, that's why they kind of they kind of limit AI. Because they were like, oh, this AI is always learning. All right. But then it learns that humans are obsolete and we basically destroy everything we touch so it learns to fuck humans kill them right they're yeah. basically obsolete when you think about it it's, that's why they kind of limit most ai to the point where like yes you are always learning but you can only learn only in this frame that's why that is like the three rules of robotics came into function to protect humanity from their own creations, as proven by the nuclear warheads we created. Oof. <laughs> what a world, am I right? But we're we're kind of we're going deep into robotics. I just want to know how do humans do anything if robots did everything? See, my theory. Is that it's really funny theory because it works off of basically capitalism. We built the robots. Hey, we built robots to do everything for you. So you bought the robots and they also took your job. So they do everything for you. And they also do your job. No one gets paid. Okay. 
No one can buy robots. Okay? Uh, so we mm. need to... Uh, the robots go obsolete. They don't do the things we need to do anymore. But there's no one there to fix the robots or make new ones. All right, cool. Here's what we do. We can tell everybody they can have their jobs back or just get new people. All right, cool. Everybody can have their jobs back. The robots, they don't have your jobs. All right, society is moving again. It's working. Everyone has a job. Hey, we've come out with more robots. They're even better than ever. And they can help you because, let's face it, they don't remember the time where the robots did everything for them. They, they just remember, ah, oh, oh, I'm so tired from working. Ah, oh, this robot can help me? Oh, thank you. All right, robots take their jobs again. No one works. The robots go out of, they, they just don't work anymore. Oh, we need more people. Hire them again. So it becomes like a weird, like, I need money. Money goes away because no one's there to buy the robots. All right, take them back. All right, everybody's working. Get rid of them. We got robots. So Wally. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like a weird Wally capitalism thing. Because well, no, well, because it 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 would end up like Wally in the fact that, it, like, people just get so lazy that they'll just not work, get gain weight, and then just rely on having the robots serve you. Right. But then, Which, I mean, I took that and said, where do people get the money? There is no money. How do we get people to buy our robots? Well, they need jobs. All right. The robots slowly go obsolete. We need people to come work. All right. People are working again. All right. Buy, buy these robots. It's supposed to it's supposed to be like a weird. We get lazy, but there's no money. So we become productive again. There's money. So now we can buy more robots I mean, to get lazy again. It's a weird... It's a weird... Because I'm thinking in that in that kind of world, it was... Or in that universe, I would say. Right. Is but that... In terms of okay, Wally, like, they were people, looking for survival, if anything. Yeah. So they... So all of them, like, even, like, you know, the big cats up there, you know, they gained weight because they relied so much on <coughs> the servants of robots. Right. That's proven by the so pictures the of the captains. Weight. Yeah. So they got so much fat that it's like they were too lazy. And so at that point, it was like, well, money was kind of obsolete because everybody was in the same boat, basically. Mm -hmm. It's true. Everybody was there. There yeah, was no so... distinction. They were just there. Yeah. What do you think, Soto? What do you think about my theory? I mean, it's plausible, definitely. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of hard to figure out anything about that world because it, in the beginning we just see Wally, -E and then it's just like, oh, the world is shit now, and then like we cut to humans in space. Right. Um, and on there, uh. It was interesting, like, what you said about money, too, because I know that, um, let's see, did they pay for anything up there, though? It, because when, um, it didn't if I remember, specify. there was, say what? It didn't specify. They were like, ooh, we want yeah. that. They were just giving it. So right? So we, we didn't fully understand how they got it in a transaction society. I mean, if I were to theorize, they, like I said, it would be just everybody on the same boat. Right, since they were all just waiting for survival to come back, uh, yeah. to go back to Earth, they were just like, ah, we take care of everything, just wait until, you know, we tell you to come back. <clears throat> Which is funny, because in the, in the movie, don't we see later on that they were never supposed to come back because of how shitty the world was? Yep, it was actually pretty surprising <laughs> that a plant actually existed. In fact, it was the it was like a secret code the captains did not know to the mm -hmm. to AI to be like, make sure they never come back because it is no chance in history or in for the completion of time 
that Earth would gain life again. That is literally mm -hmm. how they said it. So your job, AI, is to make sure we never come back. whoop de doo Surprise, surprise. Earth has life. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean... At that, I don't, I don't know if money would be needed at that point because here's the thing: it's kind of like a zombie apocalypse, right? Right. Does money matter in a zombie apocalypse? No, you're trying to fucking fight off zombies so you can survive, right, you right, know. Right. And then you just got to like, uh, you know, use the knowledge you have to uh, try to get you by. Uh huh. Right. But here's so, the, here's the real kicker. Okay. We're saying my theory would not work in a Wally S situation because it depended on the survival of the human race and since mm -hmm. it depended on the survival, money had no value. But let's yeah. take and you're kind of probably not like me for this. Let's take the <laughs> iRobot situation where humanity did not depend on survival but people were still living on earth and there were just robots mm -hmm. everywhere okay then it would it would work then i'd say um because or you do bring, you bring up a good point like if we were in like the i robot world um humans can't always do what they, they need to do because you know hey we're humans we get sick we break bones so if a robot could like take our place temporarily, then that's cool. I guess to some extent, if or, it decides to not kill you. Or could that mean that we could invent immortality? Well, the thing about mm -hmm. that, we already send robots <laughs> to go into high risk situations that a human could not survive as seen right. when we send robots to volcanoes or when they go into deeper space than we can handle. It is something they just can survive because they don't have the requirements we need to live. Right? Mm. In a in a survival situation, this is what you need to live as a human. You need to find shelter, uh, water, and then food. Th these are the three basic building blocks in that order of how to survive in just anywhere. <laughs> Right? So when you're out in deep space, which has more extreme temperatures than a human can take, and no oxygen, a robot would be fitting. Right? So it slowly kind of trickles down if you want it to, but you know. Hmm. So, like, over time, I mean, like, we have sorting machines. Instead of. Okay. We used to have people write. Um, as a secretary, secretary jobs had an actual class, you had an actual class for secretary work because you needed to write fast and you need to write clearly and legibly, right? Computers came, mm -hmm. computers and filing and all that jazz. There was no point of having secretary classes anymore because most of your work was done by the computer. You just needed to figure out to type, to write and to file. That was it. Computer did most of the other work. So it's like a it's like a weird slow transition if you lived in that like technological uh advancement of the two thousands. <laughs> Anybody? <laughs> now it's quiet. We're really busting our brains here. <laughs> it's like because uh, no, I got we, we got to think. No, like I I was legit thinking because um a lot of different scenarios like flashed through my brain and I'm just like oh whoa shit uh, wow right and this is this is the type of work that I really want to talk about like we could talk about the adventures the wacky the weird. All these things that go on in your life. But I also wanted to cover these non-existent controversy topics because they get you kind of thinking. And then you start to think and you're just like, 
what a world. What a world we live in where this is an actual scenario way off in the future or way close. We don't know that mm -hmm. this could actually exist as proven by Detroit by Human because that was during somewhere in our time frame. All right. All right. Okay. Surprise, surprise. Our brains just massively exploded. In fact, mine feels like it just oozed out of my skull. <laughs> <coughs> Don't make an image of that, please. The world doesn't need that one. <laughs> Dude, I'm I'm visual, so I kind of like just your your I, I picture you like just typing something on a computer, and then like just stuff is coming out of your ear, and it's just oozing like dripping onto the floor. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, I'm, 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 my I'm, gray matter. I lost a couple of IQ points for that. <laughs> uh, but thoughts? Anything? Anything you want to add? Maybe subtract and be like, eh, hey, maybe like that. Well, no. No, because, I mean, we, we kind of, like, relate everything towards, like, you know, Wally. Right. Only because, like, that's, well, I think that's, like, the most, like, possible thing, outcome that could happen, you know, if we rely too much on, you know, electronics right. or robots in, in general. So let's let's do it like that. What do you think? You think we're more probably gonna be a Wally. What do you think, Soda? Um I mean I can see that happening as well. Um, but just because unfortunately I don't everything is kind of up in the air when it comes to Wally. I mean I can definitely see it because once our robots start taking over, you know, job and everything like that, people will start becoming lazy. Mm -hmm. However, I can also see this a lot of scenarios like in Detroit becoming human where a lot of people are rebelling against the androids. Because uh, in the video game, there were there were times where um, you see people straight up like killing these things. Right. So, um, let me see. I can see a little bit of Wally and then a little bit of like the, the video game uh, Detroit becoming human. So, so you want. Detroit becoming Wally. Or sure. Wally becoming human. That's how you see it. Yeah, I can I can kind of see that because um the thing is, um the the androids, it just it just wasn't out of the blue where they're just like, Well, um, I'm human. No, it was actually something that kind of slowly progressed because um they were they were meant to just follow orders and obey, but they had something malfunction in them, and then they're just like, uh, oh, wait, I don't have to follow orders if I don't want to. Mm -hmm. um, now I'm just thinking of short circuit. <laughs> right. That's what we call anybody... the human spirit or free will. <laughs> Number five is alive. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I freaking love that movie. Uh, the second one was myth, but the first one is, yeah. Yeah. Johnny Five. What a cutie. Hmm. You know what? I Johnny got Well, say what? Oh, if robots were kind of like that, they'd be less scary. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what? I kind of... Sorry. I, I, no, no, it's fine. I, I agree with you. And I agree with you on your... Uh, I say we kind of go through a Detroit become human phase. Because we do have robots looking like people. And we also just have regular robots, right? So mm. I think we go through that phase and then we go into the Wally phase. So I, I kind of agree. If we go based on like a timeline s thing, we go I guess Detroit by human, I robot, Wally. And then Judgment Day. Judgment Day. That's yeah, you're right. Judgment Day, right there. Well, when Wally be after Judgment Day? Uh because that one's I mean if you if you think about like Oh, the re like the remaining survivors get on the ship and, and leave the planet, right? Because it went to shit. Then right. I guess, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that one. Uh, any thoughts? Any other things? 
Nope. <coughs> All right. Well, it's fine. Keep freaking whistling. Oh my gosh. It's fine. It's um, fine. <laughs> but uh, need- I'm gonna say I'm gonna cut it here, folks. Looks like we've come up to our time getting the wrap up signal. Uh, so you know what? It's been a very accomplishing day. Kind of got the juices flowing. Got you thinking, right? Uh, but uh, it's been your host, Tony. Cap. Just don't even.